we are going to create our first project in .NET Core. Uh, I have installed Visual Studio 2022. Uh, when you open your Visual Studio 2022, you will see the uh, left side you are uh, send projects, and the right side you will see the get started. So in the right side you will see well uh, last there is a create a new project. Click on that. Uh, here you will see you, uh, uh, the temporary divided in two parts. When uh, well, uh, one is the recent project templates and the other one, uh, other one is the all your templates uh, uh, that are di displayed here. Uh, you are selected when you install your Visual Studio. So I am going to uh, create our first blank project, blank solution. Sorry. So I write down here, I, I have got this. So uh, the benefit of the blank solution is that uh, you can add multiple projects uh, in the in one solution. So I have to give it name it sample. So it has created uh, blank solutions. So uh, you can see that here is a zero projects. Uh, you you can move uh, solution explorer anywhere uh, where you want. Uh, you can easily move it. I, I have to create uh, my new projects. Uh, click on and uh, select new projects. So I have to add web, web API projects. Select you can type here web API, and I have got this. Create on the next button. I give it the name. Sample is uh, my solution name, and the project name is Web API. Here is the location where uh, project will be saved. So click on the next button. When you click on the next uh, next button, you will see the uh, uh, first. So you see the framework that is uh, the 6.0 because I have installed Visual Studio 2022. So uh, I have um, this uh, which uh, .NET 6.0 is visible to me. If you are using Visual Studio 2019, the, you will see you can work on the .NET 5.0. And the other option is the authentication type. There is uh, here is three option authentication. Uh, first is the none. If you select this, you no authentication will be applied uh, at your project. Uh, when you go through with the uh, Microsoft Identity Platform, the uh, this is an uh, API uh, that supports user to create a uh, you login uh, login form and create account form, so user can uh, uh, user can login uh, into the system or create uh, their accounts. It's uh, uh, another support uh, of the .NET Identity Platform is external login provider. If you have a, a social, uh, if you have a account at social media platform like Facebook, Google, uh, Microsoft, uh, Twitter, you can use this. Uh, that will provide the uh, external uh, login uh, support. And the uh, last one is the Windows authentication. Windows authentication relies on the operating system to authenticate user of the uh, .NET Core application. It is the best uh, uh, when user, client, uh, apps, and uh, web servers uh, belong to the same Windows domain. And uh, after that is uh, configure for HTTPS and no uh, needed Docker, uh, enable Docker's and uh, uh, no need to change any other. Uh, click on the create button. Uh, you will see that uh, the one project will be added in, in my solutions. So uh, you can see that here is the uh, Sample solution and one of one project as it, which is the uh, web API. So I have to run this project. Uh, 